Let me lay it on the line. I got a little friggin' inside. Can't you know that the man has got to deal with it? I don't care what they say. I'm not about to pay nobody's way. Cause it's all about the dog in me. Guys, I've been doing my best to vlog while I'm here, but it's just been kind of a world run. Especially because I only have two full days in Mexico City, so we've been doing everything. Yesterday, we ended up getting up at like 7 a.m. going to Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, yeah. Pyramids, pyramid, sun pyramid, and the moon pyramid. That was awesome. We had a guided tour of that. so drained from the sun and the climbing up the 245 steps to the top of the sun pyramid, the pyramid of the sun, and doing the whole tour thing. We ended up going home, taking a nap for like two hours, got back up, headed out to an area zone called Polanco, and we ended up going to a this chichi restaurant called Buena Barra. Okay, you know, American service is very, very top notch, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find other places that have better service. After that, we walked around the neighborhood. We had another recommendation to go out. Um, and we saw a couple places, but everyone looked really young. But we ended up going to La Republica, still in the Polanco neighborhood. And when I tell you, we turned up like it was legit. Started out with Moet, ended up with all kinds of tequilas and just dancing. I was the only black person in the place like in the place was lit and packed and you know it's something you have to get used to especially when you travel um, I did see a couple of black people like during the day but in that place I was the only black person so much so that towards the end middle to evening part a guy was like dancing and talking to me and he was like oh my god I miss black American women so much he was like Portuguese Italian but lived in uh, San Francisco for like nine ten years and so he was like oh gosh I miss black American women so much they're known here where are they where are they and I'm like I don't know if they're black American women in Mexico City I know there might be black women I don't know where they are either my love but I'm here baby so I was like so like flirting it up and having a good time that's why I tell you ladies let me tell you something travel they are looking for you but the only thing is that you do have to be comfortable with kind of being the only person in the place later on in the night I saw I think I saw a mixed girl and then I saw a black guy with like dreads and things like that but he didn't look I don't think he was American he probably was European or French or something but needless to say the night was kind of a blur we had a really good time we didn't get home until 4 a.m. we ubered home and now we are back it is about 9 30 and we are gonna take a bike tour uh, from La Reforma and going to Chapultepec Park a big like um, park in the center of the city almost like um, oh what's that park in New York um, oh gosh that big um, Central Park in New York um, and going to see castles and having food and riding and things like that so we're super excited I'm here with Rachel she's gonna get coffee um, and I'm here just vlogging and catching you guys up but anyway Mexico City I'm loving it so far it's a definite city city um, yeah so I'll show you some sights and some scenes today and yeah we're having a good time anyway travel book the ticket <laughs>
today. Apparently everyone's coming out to protest Donald Trump. Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of that. It's going to be interesting to see what everything looks like. But so far so good on the bike tour. There are a couple places in Chapultepec Park that I wanted to video, but of course I couldn't video because you can't ride and video at the same time. But yeah, we out here. It's pretty dope. Bye bike. I've never done a bike tour. I did a walking tour in Madrid, Spain. We did a cable car, so over city tour, and now we're doing bicycle tour in Mexico City. This is my fourth meal in a row having tacos. Tacos? <laughs> We've had, this is probably our third. It's our fourth taco. This is actually better than the ones I've had. Because remember I tell you, I always want veggies. Yeah. I keep, this is our fourth meal of um, tacos since we've been here. And I keep telling Rachel, I miss the veggies. Because the other ones were just meat and like tortilla. But these are good because it's like onions and cilantro and guacamole and everything. It's good. I don't know what neighborhood we're in. Are we in Contesa? Uh, I think so. Okay. I think we're in La Contesa. Still. And... Yeah. We've been riding for quite a bit. I think we have one more hour left. Last time we checked, we were at 7 miles. We'll probably hit 14, 15, probably 20 by the time this is over. But yeah, good times. Oh, this is not my outfit this is what they make us ride in so yeah don't judge me anyway oh check this hottie out this guy's so hot <laughs> look how hot he is oh my god sexy as fuck <laughs> Fifty years. Fifty years. This is like a business. Yeah, okay. Tacos Fifty years. El güero is the blondie. Mmm. Where? Güero. El güero. I thought we were we were in Colombia. Because in Mexico we say güero. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Anyway. Bye, people. Just for me. If you are that kind of man, cause I'm that kind of girl, I got a freaking secret, everybody sing, cause we don't give a damn about a fan, cause I will be a freak until